From a healthcare standpoint, personal injury cases can involve a wide array of professional disciplines ranging from medical, chiropractic, physical therapy, speech therapy, and even psychology to name a few. These different healthcare specialties not only treat the patient to help them return to their prior level of function, but they can also offer a great amount of information as to the patient's future prognosis. Each discipline can offer great insight as to how the patient is progressing respective to their scope of practice. Many times, however, the treating medical doctor amongst a team of other professionals is often expected to give an opinion as to the overall prognosis of a patient. Medical doctors typically give an opinion as to whether the person has achieved what we call maximum medical improvement, but often have to consult with rehabilitation doctors to get the person's rehabilitative potential in order to make this overall determination. This is because medical doctors diagnose and treat pathology and rehabilitation doctors such as physical therapists evaluate and treat dysfunction. This is why a collaborative approach amongst various healthcare professionals in determining overall prognosis is absolutely imperative. Here's an example of how this determination comes into play. The reason why this collaborative opinion with the rehabilitation doctor is so important is because of their unique training. If you ask a physical therapist to prescribe certain medications or read MRI images, they are not able to do this because it's out of their scope of practice. And not to mention they're not trained uh, to do that or licensed in that field. On the other hand, if you ask a medical doctor to perform physical therapy rehabilitative treatment, they would not be able to successfully treat this patient because they simply aren't trained in doing so. Each respective discipline, both medical and physical therapy, have their own unique set of skills and training which gives them credibility to opine on different aspects of the patient's overall prognosis. Oftentimes in trial, the question comes up regarding what is the patient's rehabilitative potential and whether they have reached their maximal rehabilitative potential or achieved maximum medical improvement. If the appropriate experts are not in line to give an expert opinion on this topic, it will be very difficult to prove to a jury if maximal medical improvement or maximal rehabilitative potential has been achieved. As a doctor of physical therapy, I have testified in trial numerous times against medical doctors ranging from orthopedic surgeons, physiatrists, interventional pain physicians, etc. In the majority of time, the opposing opinion of these experts is very different from mine in regards to the improvement of the patient. It's not necessarily that their opinion is wrong. It typically comes down to their opinion being based off the pathological condition that is going on with the client or patient. And if that diagnosable condition has been cured or if there is an impairment that still exists. From the rehabilitation doctor's perspective, we are looking at the overall rehabilitation potential of the patient and whether their function will improve or regress over time, thus providing a quote unquote rehabilitative prognosis. From a medical standpoint, the person may have reached maximal medical improvement from a disease or pathology standpoint, but the doctor of physical therapy standpoint is if the person has reached maximal rehabilitative potential or improvement. The physical therapist has the education, experience, and expertise to opine on this question with certainty and should be integrated into determining the overall prognosis of the patient. Make sure that you provide the insurance company and or jury members with both the medical doctors and rehabilitative doctors opinions in order for an accurate and well-rounded prognosis to be made.